This is Language Arts Lesson 6, adding different styles for each page. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to add different styles for each page so that ultimately, your job is to decide whether you want to make each page different or keep it the same. What do I mean by this in the first place? Well, what I mean is this. In my story right now, as I have it set up, every single page is going to have this school background and every single page is going to have this particular font. So no matter what page I go to, it's always the same. Now, some students don't like that. They may want a different background for each page. They may want a different color background for each page. They may want one page to have a background, one page to just have a color, um, and they may want a different font for different parts. So that's what this, the purpose of this video is all about. So ultimately, you have to decide by the end of this video whether you want to make each page different or if you want to keep things the same. So let's talk about adding different styles for each page. What you'll have to do to add different styles for each page is you're going to need to comment out existing CSS using the forward slash asterisk to open up and the uh, asterisk uh, forward slash to close it. Um, what do I mean by commenting out? Well. Let's go to our CSS. One thing that you need to know and was mentioned in, in previous videos is that your CSS applies to whole, your whole story, right? So everything that I put here is applying to your whole story. And what you're going to need to do is to get rid of this and say, don't apply this to the whole story. I'll take care of each slide on my own. And the way that you're going to do that is by commenting. Well, what is commenting out? Commenting, like I said before, uses that forward slash asterisk, and then notice what happens to everything in here. All of a sudden, it changes to this brown color. Commenting is used by coders to write in comments about their code. It just helps people who don't know their code to look at it and to know what a particular set of code does. So, for example, a, a, a comment here might say, This the first two lines import fonts from the web. And that might be my comment. And uh, you'll notice that when I put the asterisk, the forward slash asterisk, the asterisk forward slash, then everything goes back to its regular color. Basically, the comment says, computer, don't read this. These are not directions or instructions for you. This, these, these, this line is for users to read. And then everything else the computer can read. Going back to now the first step in applying uh, different styles for every page, you got to comment out any code in your CSS uh, be because you don't want it to apply. So I put a forward slash asterisk at the beginning, and then I put an asterisk forward slash at the end. Now all of this code is commented out, and if I go to my school day, I'll notice that, yep, everything's commented out. The story is just plain, absolutely plain outside of this image that I put back in there. But now I can actually start styling each. And the way that you're going to use do that is that each box will need its own styling using these style tags. And you're gonna put these style tags, opening and closing, in each box. So let me show you what that looks like. So it doesn't matter whether I put my style tags at the beginning or at the end, like down here, if I put it down here, it's going to apply this style, whatever's in here, it's going to apply to the whole page. So let's go ahead and put my opening and closing style tags. And uh, let's say, for example, I do like that uh, initial background image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this, take this body code, and let's just put that in the front or in the opening box. So it, within my style tags, I'm going to put body, and I have my background image, my background size. Notice I'm basically doing all of uh, my my style. My um, uh, uh, styles are applied here. Here's for body. I've got my a uh, selector. I've got my CSS properties. Oops, sorry about that. I've got my CSS properties, and I've got my values. So now. As long as my brackets are open and closed, I can go back here, refresh my page, and there we go. 
I've got that school for the first page, but when I go to the next pages, I don't have anything. Great. So now I can go within the style if I want to apply my fonts, if I want to apply different uh, Im uh, uh, details to images, I can put that all within this style tag. So let's say, for example, over here, I wanted this background color to be different. So I can, again, um, you know, just for the sake of showing you that it doesn't matter where I put it, put my style tag down here, background, oops, I forgot something. This has got to apply to my body, background, color, uh, let's say yellow. Close that, close my style tag, and now let's see how that looks. Refresh my page. I've got my school here. I'll go to the school office, and great, now this is yellow. And again, I can do this for every single one. I can apply my... Uh, if I wanted to apply my fonts, well, I've just got to, again, copy this li these lines of code over in order to put in my fonts. And that's what I can do for every single uh, box. That's ultimately what I wanted to show you in this. And your job is to just decide, do you want to actually do that? Do you want to actually apply different styles for each page or not? That's your choice, but at least you know how to do that.